He is known for his determination to establish a career in music solely on his own talent, without relying on his family's wealth or connections. He studied counterpoint with Theodore Du Bois and took classes with Jules Massenet at the Paris Conservatoire. His name is Alberic Magnard. In the bustling city of Paris, a legendary figure in the world of music was born, Alberic Magnard. But Alberic's path to greatness was not paved with silver spoons and family connections. Born into a wealthy family, he could have easily lived a life of comfort and luxury. However, Alberic had a burning desire to prove himself solely on the basis of his own talent. He refused to be known simply as the son of Francis Magnard, a best-selling author and editor of Le Figaro. Instead, he embarked on a journey to make a name for himself in the world of music. After completing his military service and graduating from law school, Alberic enrolled in the prestigious Paris Conservatoire. There, he immersed himself in the study of music under the guidance of renowned composers such as Theodore Du Bois and Jules Massenet. It was during this time that he crossed paths with Vincent D'Indy, a prominent composer and teacher. Under D'Indy's tutelage, Alberic honed his skills in fugue and orchestration, and it was under his guidance that Alberic wrote his first two symphonies. In fact, he dedicated his Symphony No. 1 to D'Indy. Despite their contrasting political views, a deep mutual respect always existed between the two men. While Alberic pursued his musical aspirations, his father Francis did what he could to support his son's career. He even used his influence as the editor of Le Figaro to bring attention to Alberic's talent. However, tragedy struck in 1894 when Francis passed away. Alberic's grief was mingled with conflicting emotions of gratitude and annoyance towards his father. But Alberic soldiered on, fueled by his passion for music and the desire to prove himself. In 1896, Alberic embarked on a new chapter of his life by marrying Julie Cretton. Alongside his personal life, he also took on the role of a counterpoint tutor at the Scola Cantorum, further solidifying his place in the music community. It was during this time that Alberic composed his Symphony No. 3 in B-flat minor, showcasing his immense talent and musical prowess. In the world of music, Alberic Magnard, known simply as Magnard, left an indelible mark on French composition. Influenced by contemporary French composers, especially César Franck, Magnard dedicated much of his creative energy to opera. However, it is his symphonies that have garnered the most attention, showcasing his unique blend of French and German influences. Some passages even foreshadow the work of Gustav Mahler, revealing Magnard's exceptional musical foresight. Hashtag next hashtag Magnard symphonies are characterized by his masterful use of fugue and incorporation of chorale. His mature orchestral works exude a grandeur of expression, earning him the title of a French Bruckner. While the concept of cyclical forms was already present in Bruckner's work, Magnard's treatment of this musical structure is more reminiscent of César Franck. In his operas, he also drew inspiration from Richard Wagner, employing the leitmotif technique to create evocative musical narratives. Hashtag next hashtag Despite his significant contribution to the world of music, Magnard's entire oeuvre consists of only 22 opus numbers. Alongside his symphonies and operas, he composed a handful of chamber works, including a single-string quartet, a quintet for piano and winds, a piano trio, a violin sonata, and a cello sonata. A few more compositions were published posthumously, such as the Cotter Poems and Music, a collection of four songs for baritone and piano. Hashtag next hashtag Magnard's compositions showcase his ability to merge different musical traditions and create a distinctive sound. His symphonies and operas continue to captivate audiences with their rich harmonies, intricate structures, and emotional depth. Despite his tragically short career, Magnard's impact on French music endures, solidifying his place as a remarkable composer whose works stand the test of time. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.